So I left off at uh, part 42, A and B are done. And what happened is my battery died on me and we were doing the contact while well, signal study, aliens, Maya, UFOs, Kepler planets. The next section is gonna be called contact well, signal study, aliens, Egyptian, heretic, ancient numerals, binary codes. And uh, we're gonna go over these notes here that I didn't get a chance. I kind of rushed through the last video. But what I did was made the video with the notes to coincide with the numbers of the symbol for zero, which is 5.878327E6. E6, sorry, not sex. <laughs> okay, and uh, let's see, got my little arrow here. It says recording stopped over here. We talked about the wow, um, what the wow signal is all about, and it's from Dr. Jerry Amen. And he worked on the Big Ear Radio Telescope, and that's how he picked it up on August 15, 1977. And you see that code there, the 6EQUJ5. That's the alien signal that he picked up. Okay. And he was talking about the ASCII equivalent to a binary code, which is what's showing here. So, of course, I didn't know what that was. So, as you know, when I don't know what I looking at I look it up so this is the ASCII codes right here and basically what it shows is the base 64 value so 0 is A 1 is B 2 is C so basically you would take these numbers if you were going to do a binary code in ASCII so this one would equal B so you put B B B B and this would be C okay but that didn't work I didn't actually do the binary code that way I did it differently. Um, this is just showing the, the different computations I got from it. And so, so I, what I ended up doing was Google 14111321. And what that is is one of these codes on here. And it brings up this degrees here plus 13 degrees 49 feet I still don't know how to read these symbols if you guys can help me on that that would be great put a comment or something let me know what this stands for that stands for 32.03 inches plus 109 degrees 53 feet 36.58 inches okay that's boosted from my google search um, IE24 pasted from our CSB org Okay, so this is how I got this um, thing. So the message that I got when I first saw this wow signal thing was connect the dots, it said. Connect the ones, connect the twos, connect all the threes. So as you can see, I do the ones in red and my diagrams are off because I've been moving my notes around and making them bigger. I took them from like a size 8 font to 16 so you can actually see them. Because I noticed in my other videos that you can see what I was talking about. So basically what the lines are is the ones are in red, the twos are in blue, uh, the threes would have been in green, sixes in yellow, you get the idea. Anyways, you can see this kind of pattern forming there. Okay, so when I googled the IE24, which is this section here, IE24, okay. Uh, one so actually not IE it's one E two four is the number there. So I Google one E two four. This is what I get. This thing. Now do you notice something that this looks like my little diagram of all the squeaky lines and stuff? I just thought it was cool. It kind of struck me as funny because it's got green, red, blue, right? We got green, red, blue. So it's like okay, that's freaky. So it comes up Lins Lizzle TRNA synthesis lysu hexagonal form complex with lysine and ATP and MN2. <laughs> so my thoughts are January 12, 2001. Notice the green, red, blue colors match with mine in the wild wow signal. Connect the dots picture above. Okay. Um, let's just go to this thing here and see what this is. Because I obviously didn't post the notes soon. So this is what it came up as a picture. It's an assumed biological molecule, astrometric unit. So I wonder if it's assumed, meaning it's not actual. It's just something that, it's a theory. Huh. Who knows? I don't know how to read all that stuff. 
So anyways, that came up. And then this here, we've got uh, the IE243. 212111. So, of course, I take this code here. These three. IE24 and 2411. Okay? So what I've done is put those together because... No, I didn't do that. Sorry, no, no, never mind. I did this line here. I went across this way. So I put those numbers together, right? And then I got the C60QUJ5 over here. And then we've got Q112. One, one. You know what I did? I just threw out the six there. See that? I goofed. See, there's another equation I didn't do yet. So, oh, that's interesting. I even missed it. So I'll put six is missing. Just so I know I can go back and fix it. Okay, so I missed the six. Okay. So anyways, um... I didn't do too much with that equation, obviously. See, these were my notes, and I thought they were done, but I guess they were <laughs> Anyways, when I googled this information, it comes up NC, NGC6231 is an open cluster located near Zeta Scorpi. Zeta HR6262 is a member of the star cluster. Its brighter apparent partner, Zeta, is only, only 150 light years from Earth, and so is not a cluster member. This cluster is estimated about 3.2 million years old and is approaching the solar system at 22 kilometers per second, so it's coming towards us. Very young stars, including it, belong to the Scorpius Association. Spectral type 08, magnitude 4.71 is the hottest star in it. So basically, I still don't know what that particular information would mean. But let's just go to this and see if it takes us there. There's an open cluster there. There it is. And a small magnetic cloud. So that's what it looks like. So an open cluster is a group of up to a thousand stars that were formed from the same giant molecular cloud and have roughly the same age. More than 1,100 open clusters have been discovered within the Milky Way galaxy. And many more are thought to exist. They are loosely bound to each other by mutual gravitational attraction and become disrupted by close encounters with other clusters and clouds of gas as they orbit the galactic center resulting in a migration to the main body of the galaxy as well as a loss of cluster members through internal close encounters. Okay, so you get an idea there. I'm not going to go through everything. But this is on Wiki, so if you do open cluster Wiki, it'll come up, okay? That's for those notes. So my thoughts about these numbers here. It says January 6, 2012, 9.26 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. My thoughts. The diagram above with the different colors of lines was based on a message I received during a meditation on December 29, 2011, around 12.03 a.m. It simply said, connect all the ones, then the twos, threes, fours, fives, not many, sixes, and look at the pattern. It doesn't mean anything to me when I originally started doing it. Then I did some more research and it seems to map out something. This is seen in the recording for parts number 42 A and B videos. Okay, so... A strong narrowband radio signal detected by Dr. Jerry Iman on August 15, 1977. was talking about the wow signal. While working on a study project at the Big Ear Radio Telescope of the Ohio State University, then located at Ohio Wesleyan University's Perkins Observatory, Delaware, Ohio. Okay? So this, I believe, is 42, 43.8. Then the next part of this video is about the Egyptian heretic ancient numerals aliens used to communicate. So take a look at these numerals. Okay, you've got your one with one line, two with two, three with three, you get it. And then I guess after five they change and they become little symbols. So I'm kind of wondering if these guys are going to show up in the crop circles. Which is my next topic. Actually, after the hundred videos are filmed for this topic, I'm going to start on that topic. <laughs> so I'm getting ahead of myself here. So January 12, 2012, 9.44 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. My thoughts. I wanted to see if the numbers would mean anything in the Egyptians' ancient language. There are no symbols in the wow signal, but there might be some in the crop circles. I haven't studied them, but I did find out there's around 6,000 document, documented events in relation to crop circles appearing all over the world. 
there is binary code of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 in along with a few letters which end up being classified as the well signal which is the 60QUJ5. Okay so basically I'm just this is my theory you know what what's going to happen but uh, this is just the beginning of the search as you can see I got lots of notes to tell you all about look at all these notes down here aren't you all aren't you lucky anyways um it gets more and more interesting as we go along you're going to get some dry stuff and then we're going to get some really good juicy stuff okay so i'm going to stop the camera and go on to the next video